Tokyo. And of course, those of you here on Altitude Sports and Entertainment in the Rocky Mountain region. Replay. Nice look by Langtree. A couple guys played together a while. There he is on the outside of the crease. There's no shot at the goalie. And I, again, I don't know if that's just trying to get your team fired up, maybe trying to send a message by Natalie, but I just see the near side of the ball. This is better than good up high. The goal is completely open. Shuchuk on the dunk. And Brandon Miller never gives up on the play. Just a great job of diving across and sticking the stick out. You know, they tell you when you're playing defense, man down, the Philadelphia yeah, see the replay here just to feed right down the highway. You gotta be a little bit tighter, but it's tough to argue with anything Steve Toll's done this year. He's one of the uh, defensemen tied to a player, and this time he just put one of those outdoor moves to use as he fires low there on Levison, able to put it in the net. To get back to your question about Mundorf, you can, I think we already see it weighing on Mundorf. I was just getting ready to say it. We'll see if they get this power play unit going. And Brandon Mundorf just fires it past that top shoulder there, the, uh, the upper left corner there, past the shoulder of Levis. And now we'll see if Mundorf works that Philadelphia. Great to have you with us. We'll begin with Smith leaving off for Grant. Shot. Grant, another shot. Saved by Miller and nearly got through the wickets. But he covers up. Grant did not score a goal in the first half, but assisted on six. Blackjack, you watch Langtree here taking it to the rack. I, I thought he got pushed from behind, but no call there. Old Maid, what did we play there, Josh? Old Maid had, well, Ilya netted. Mitchell and Turner are all standing. And a goal from Philadelphia and jumping on top Carlson. So those penalties will be released from the box, but... There will be some more people serving as Philadelphia cuts it to three. I think it's going to become a turnstile rather than a door opening because they're going to switch two people in and get a couple people out. Maybe just one and one here, but again, I don't know that Colorado has much choice. It's one of the Philadelphia Wings players is trying to bait. You see right there, there's a good shot. Levis really did more damage to the shooting wing. Trying to get the number read on that. No crease violation either. He stayed out. Yeah. But did make contact with the goaltender after the ball appeared to cross the plane. And then was that Nick Carlson first man in? You see yep. Forsyth getting ready to jump in the pile too. And now there we get a look for the wing. Scoring the goal will be Max Seaball. Ready to local fans here from the outdoor game. But nice job of controlling himself and getting off. And then he paid for that goal. You've got to have that cross courage if you're going to make a move like that. Levis let it go. I mean, I don't know how Levis could ever see where the ball released, so he just did just sent a little message to Seaball if you're going to come crashing in here on me. The second year man scores his second. keeping track of the ball. This time, Colorado with the four man defensive set did not see it. Guys were spread wide. Only one guy had a chance at it for Colorado. And able to make the play. The belts pumped a lot of shots from that spot tonight. What was different about that? Well, he did have two players wrestling in front of him. And again, it just looked like that time Levis did not get a clean look. His Matt LeBeck, just a little bit flat footed. As he got the third quarters have been unkind to Philadelphia this season. Minus five, just one goal scored in those 60 minutes combined and they outscore the shots very well and Philly's got confidence. Seabold gives Philadelphia the lead. His third goal of the game. Grant around his man in front. Shot save Miller. John Grant got lit up in front. Helmet clear coming over to help. It's our first look to see in that nope. There'll be no if he's challenging that he was in the crease. That'll be clearly lost and this will be the quickest decision we've had. You know, the, the replay put in a couple years ago in the NLL, and it's funny because I talked to Bob Henry this week. I said, he went two for two last week, which meant the difference in a one-goal win. He said, I don't think I won two the rest of my career. Grant draws Manny, right hand. Grant in front, the dive shot. Leverage on him. But it's just a situation where once he's got you, there's not much you can do. It's kind of like taking a pass interference call in football. You see what... Uh, in fact, Ryan it looked like the official was in perfect position to see it. Boy, if he's calling it, it's going to have to be that. That is is the handle momentarily. Now McGlone in the corner guards. Far goal line extended. Coming away with it. All alone, empty net. And contact with the goaltender Levis. But before that, a crease by what it is. They just don't see to ride the momentum anymore now. You see that. Wings and Mammoth. The two teams meet next week as well. Light tree shot. Save Miller. Got enough of it, looking long. 
Dawson couldn't handle cleanly. Now Allen stepping out, and Dawson has his second. A three, a set, or excuse me, a three-point night for Paul Dawson. Two goals. Here comes Ilya, five to go. Up ahead, Grant catches, shoots, save Miller on the near post, and Philadelphia comes away with a one-goal victory at Pepsi Center. I say this for John. Have been one goal games that this team has played. They just seemingly unable to overcome it. They